This is a 10-stage non-operative management program for those who have sustained a massive rotator cuff tear. It was developed by Ms Bobby Ainsworth at Torbay Hospital. The program needs to be followed diligently over a period of three months progressing through different stages and only under instruction by your therapist. Perform 10 repetitions two to three times a day for full benefit. In the sitting and standing exercises, remember to set your scapula before you begin. Stage one, lie on your back with your arms by your sides. Bend your elbow on the affected side to 90 degrees and lift your elbow from the bed towards the ceiling. When your upper arm is vertical, straighten the elbow like this. When you have reached as high as you can, bend the elbow and slowly lower your arm back to the bed, making sure the movement on the way down is controlled. Now straighten your arm. Stage two. For this exercise, you'll need a yellow resistance band. Lie on your back with your arms by your sides. Bend your elbows to right angles, holding the resistance band like this. Take your hand on your affected side away from your tummy as far as you can and return slowly, making sure the movement on the return is controlled. Stage three. In this stage, you start the exercise as in stage one. Once the arm is fully straight, add a small swaying movement towards and away from the head like this. Then bend the elbow and slowly lower the arm back to the bed, making sure the movement on the way down is controlled. Stage four. In this stage, repeat stage three using a plastic bottle filled with a small amount of water to increase resistance. Stage five. In this stage, the activities in stages one to four should be repeated with the head of the bed progressively inclined like this. Your therapist will guide you based on your symptoms and response. Stage six, stand facing a wall with a cloth in your affected hand. Place your hand on the wall and slide it up as hard as you can. Remember to keep the pressure through your hand into the wall. Hold for a few seconds and try to use your unaffected hand to increase the stretch. Still pressing against the wall, lower your arm slowly, making sure the movement on the way down is controlled. Stage seven, sit down and bend the elbow of your affected arm so that your hand is close to your shoulder. Reach the arm upwards towards the ceiling until the elbow is straight, then slowly lower your arm back down to the starting position, making sure the movement on the way down is controlled. Stage eight, sit down and bend the elbow of the affected arm so that your hand is close to your shoulder. Reach the arm upwards towards the ceiling until the elbow is straight. Then slowly lower your hand to touch your head, then straighten your elbow again. Repeat two or three times before lowering your arm, keeping the elbow bent. Stage nine. Sit with your elbows bent into your sides and holding on to a yellow resistance band. Take the affected arm away from your tummy as far as you are able and slowly return to the starting position making sure the movement on the return is controlled. Stage 10. For gaining proprioception, you need to add weight-bearing activities, such as four-point kneeling, with body weight transferring side to side or forward and back, like this. Progress the exercise 
by raising your arm or leg like this. Remember to keep your back straight and do not arch your spine.